eFootball series switched from yearly releases to yearly updates and name changes a few years ago. While this is a much better approach, I miss the time when each annual release was accessible separately. eFootball 2022, 2023 and 2024 are basically the same game with a different name. The amount of PC hardware required to run each edition since 2022 has increased slightly. And yes, uh, to clear up the confusion, I am aware that eFootball 2022 and 2023 don't exist anymore, but this applies to these two editions too, and we all know that PC gamers tend to find ways of accessing unexisting PC games. So there's that. So for the first time, here are my optimized PC settings for eFootball 2022, 2023 and 2024. Instead of turning this video into a traditional benchmark for specific PC hardware, let's see how we can optimize the settings and see how much performance we can save. Before we proceed with the optimization process, uh, download and install uh, Low Specs Experience. The download link for Low Specs Experience is available in the video description. Low Specs Experience is a PC video game optimization solution that I developed uh, that allows you to optimize your favorite PC games for maximum performance. So first of all, start the installation process for the Low Specs Experience. Once the installation is complete, start it from the newly created desktop shortcut. Now uh, select the optimization catalog, select the applicable digital platform and then uh, select uh, eFootball 2022, 2023 or 2024 from the drop down menu. Once done, uh, press the load the optimization package. If the low specs experience does not automatically detect a supported game version on your system, manually select the game installation directory, press ok and the optimization control panel will load. Once the optimization control panel has loaded, select the desired optimization presets and the rendering resolution for the game. Feel free to experiment with the optimization presets and rendering resolution to see what works best for your system. And now, uh, to apply the optimization, press the execute optimization button and then uh, start your game. I almost forgot to mention one thing. If you get this message after the optimization process, Simply start the Reswitch add-on that comes pre-installed with the Low Specs Experience and follow the instructions as this is the only way to render the game at your desired resolution. Just select the resolution, execute the Reswitch and start your game. The resolution will change after 60 seconds. Also, if you are unsatisfied with what you see, you can easily remove the optimization effects. That will do it for this video. If this video was indeed helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, happy gaming. This turns on, Jim. Well, someone whose career I've watched with real interest, Peter, is, is Odegaard. Uh, having seen him break through at such a young age and having so much pressure thrust on him, I really think that the time he spent outside Norway has, has done him a lot of good. And look how much he's developed. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. He's looking to set free a runner. The ball is loose and the chase is on. And he's cleared it out of harm's way. Diogo Dallo got a long way forward to join the attack. Casemiro. Now who's going to be first to this?